Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of a great creative writing tool called Write Reader and show you my five favorite features of it. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. You'll find it at writereader.com. And I'm going to go ahead and sign into my teacher account here and show you my first favorite feature of Write Reader. And that is right here in my classes. You'll see I have a tab for students. And I can add students via Google Classroom. But if you're not a Google Classroom user, you can also have students join by just using your class code and a username that you assign to them. So I'm going to add a student to my class right now. I'm going to call my student Morrison. And I'm going to give him the username there that just is filled in for me. Or I can change it out and make it something like Morrison is cool. And that's the username. And then add that student. And now my student simply goes to Write Reader, uses this class code and their username to sign in. Let's take a look at what that looks like. So now we're going to log in as a student. I'll bring that up right now. And we'll take a look at the student view. So we'll just go to writereader.com. And my student will simply hit that login button. And they're going to say student login and put in the username. Morrison is cool is the username in this case and that class code and now they've logged in and they can see right now doesn't have any books of his own because he's brand new in this class but can toggle that on and look at other books available to the class that have been created by Mr. Byrne. So let's talk about that right now. So here we are in my classroom again, and let's go to books. And I want to show you one of my favorite aspects of Write Reader when creating books yourself as a teacher. Over here in this bottom right corner, I'm going to click on the button for creating a book. And let's give this a title. Let's just call it a walk around Maine. And we'll call this author Mr. Byrne. And let's change this color scheme here. Let's make that blue. And now I can add an image here to our cover of the book. And Write Reader has this great library of artwork that you can pick from here. So you can do a browse through the image bank you can search for images and it pulls images from pixabay maybe i want to have a picture of a lighthouse and you can see there's all the lighthouse pictures that i could add let's go back into this image bank i'll show you some other things in here there's a whole bunch of different thematic artwork that you can pick from and use in your project Look at all that. Let's go back here. You can see there's some Minecraft-like artwork in there. You can go here and see all these drawings, uh, more pictures, and let's keep on scrolling through. You can see lots and lots of artwork that's available in here. It's a huge, huge gallery of artwork. There's even emoji artwork available in there. So I'm going to upload an image, though, that I want to use as my cover. And let's move that around. Let me use that section. Save that. And that will be my cover image for the cover of the book. Now, another great feature of Write Reader is the ability to record audio, record narration, on any component, any page of the book. So let's click on this microphone icon. A Walk Around Maine by Mr. Byrne. And that audio is now added to the book. 
And I'm also gonna turn on key sounds and letters, which we'll see a little bit more of in just a moment. And I'm going to confirm that I'm writing my book in English for now. Now we can toggle between full page and multi-page. I'm gonna leave it as full page. Now let's add another page to the book. And here I'm going to add in a picture. I'm gonna upload a picture. And I'm gonna position it just like that. And I'm going to write here. You'll hear there in the background that the key sounds and letters are being read aloud as I type. Now, I don't need that as a teacher, but that's a great aid for our students who are writing in Write Reader. And we'll say this is a picture of the White Mountains. This picture was taken at the top of Mount Abram. Now, again, we have the option to record audio to go with this. I could click that audio button to record my audio again if I wanted to. And this field down here is a field I'm going to leave blank for right now because this is a field where a I would reply to a student or correct a student's writing if I was looking at his or her book. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this book appears now. Let's read this book and we'll see here, there's a little play button, a walk around Maine. And we'll see this is a picture of the White Mountains. This picture was taken at the top of Mount Abram. So I can go back in and edit that book and you'll notice here that I can turn on templates to give students access to this book as a template that they can use for their own writing. So I might use that feature to create a whole bunch of pages that have pictures on them and just leave this section blank for my students to fill in on their own. We'll also have this option here to turn on link sharing to just share a link to this book so that anyone can access it without having to sign into Write Reader. Let's take a look at how the student can now view this book and we'll look at how the students can create their own books right now in this student view. So we'll refresh this view right here. We'll go to class books and we'll see a walk around Maine. You can see here, I've actually made two copies of it and the student still has no books available. So the student's going to just take a look real quick here at this book. A walk around Maine. And the student can look through the book here and see this is a picture of the White Mountains it was taken at the top of Mount Abram. And again, I did not record any audio for this page, so there's no audio to play back. Now let's go back in here and let's have the student create their books. Again, this student doesn't have any books right now. They're going to write a book. And they can see here, that's the template option, or they can create a new book by themselves. And that's what's going to happen right here. So Write Reader has a great library of inspirational artwork. That's one of my favorite features of it. Let's go ahead and say, book inspired by art written by Morrison and again Morrison's going to change this and he's going to add in his own selections of artwork and so maybe he'll use that image and now add a new page 
going to add in another page here. Maybe his first page is going to be about this sunflower. And he'll write, this is a sunflower. I like it. I like this picture because it reminds me of summer. Now you'll notice I misspelled reminds right here in the page. And that's where the student will be, the teacher, I'm sorry, will be able to correct the student when viewing the book. So the student's going to just say, for now, it's a work in progress, and I'll leave it just like that. And so there's the student's art. Let's take a look now at the teacher view of this. And so the teacher is going to look at the books from the student. There's Morrison. And he's going to see it here. And again, remember that Reminds was misspelled. So let's edit the book. Go to the next page. And as the teacher, I'm going to write in, this is a sunflower. I like this picture because it reminds me of summer. And so now as a teacher, I've corrected this for the student. I could also write something like this and say, you had a slight misspelling of reminds. And so now the student will see that text in the book, or I can delete that and just have the corrected spelling appear on the page. So my five favorite features of Write Reader were all featured in this video. And to recap, they are students can log in without email or any kind of Google account. You can create templates for your students to work with. Students have read aloud options. There's a library of great inspirational artwork, and you can give your students feedback directly on the page that they're writing on. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.